crosshatch looking finish in there. Let's see if I can catch the light for you so you can see it. Right there, you can see it. That angle. There, that's better. Right in there. Okay, so that's what the other side will look like. Um, and I'll get back to you in just a bit. I'll do the other side up. Let's take a look. We can see that. Wipe it off a bit. It's hard to get the light to shine on it right. You can see part of the cross hatching there. And you gotta turn it a bit to see if it's going the other way. <laughs> Anyhow, that's a nice uh that's not a bad hand finish. I'm gonna hit it up here on the other side just a bit more because I've seen the light hit some uh some scratches in here. All right, so it's still got a little bit of rough marks in her, uh, but it kind of looks cool. All right, on the other side here. Okay. Okay, so again, this was never meant to be a uh, mere polished uh, $500 uh, work of art or anything. This is uh, just going to be used. So I'm sure he's not going to mind a little bit of scratching that's left over in it. Uh, besides, I'm going to refinish it after I harden and temper it. So now we'll get on to that part. And uh, yeah, okay. Speaking a little loud here to, so you can hear me over the porch. What I'm going to do now is take this and uh, I'm going to bring it to non-magnetic or critical heat and put it in uh, some nice clean oil until that oil stops boiling and that will harden. That's going to harden this blade. Now I'm going to harden the whole. I'm going to harden the whole blade itself and about right up to here. Yeah, right about up to here, where my fingers are, okay? And keep the handle fairly soft, so it's not brittle. There it is cooling off in the vise and uh, I'm just going to sit down and have a have a short break. Uh, actually I'm going to go cut some other material up for a different project. <laughs> Not to confuse it with this video. But anyhow it's going to sit there for a bit. Uh, it did not uh, it did not warp or waver or anything uh, during the hardening process. So uh, that made me happy. Of course, it's pretty hard for it to do that being as thick as it is. It's just a massive hunk of steel. It's awesome. Anyhow, I'll get back to you in just a bit and we'll clean her up. <clears throat> All right, let's give it a quick uh, hardness test just by seeing if I can skate a file across it. This is a medium uh, double cut. All right. She just skates, guys. This thing is super hard. Right, perfect. So we'll get out the uh, emery cloth again and we'll clean this puppy off. Still
There she is. You can see it does have some scratches in it. Uh, let's see, yeah. It does have some scratches in it still. So, I'm going to go back and do some more sanding. Okay guys, um, there you have it, just about totally finished the, the cleaver, I've got about uh, seven and a half, eight hours into it now. Um, I just got to let this, uh, this, hard, uh, this hard resin uh, dry and, uh, and cure a little bit, take a, couple, take a few hours. And I'm going to take some 600 grit and uh, polish it up nice and put a, or pardon me, I'm going to take some 220 grit and get out any roughness and stuff in it that might have formed and then put a second coat, put a second coat on and uh, then polish that up with 600 grit uh, by hand. So by the time I'm done this whole thing, it'll be about, uh, in, you know, like, like in, uh, not counting drying time and all that stuff. Be about, mm, I'll be down in the boat. Yeah, it'll be finished in about nine hours. Uh, nine hours labor. So, uh, yeah, she's looking real nice. Uh, you guys will have noticed that I put a, uh, uh, I put a, a bit of antler on the end. Uh, man, does that hold nice in the grip. Oh boy, uh, just natural fit on the hand and uh, and a bit of leather wrap in between um, I didn't get it on video I, I, I thought I had the camera going but I didn't um, when I put that uh, uh, when I put that antler on the end um, I did a burn in okay and all of my and 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 off the spine of, of, of the tank I had put in uh, uh, I put in some, um, what do you call it, gouges, I guess, um, shaped, going like this so they can't pull off. Uh, it, it is not going to go anywhere. I've done several of these on a, on a few other things, uh, and they don't break, they don't come off, and those guys have used them pretty roughly. Uh, as far as all that goes, um, I think that this is going to be in the mail and let's see today's the let's take a look 
Today is the 19th, so this should be in the mail by about the 21st. I believe that's next time I go into town. Okay. If I don't get to uh, finish off this video for some reason, uh, forgetfulness, stupidity, whatever, uh, or not feeling like it, <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Brad, I hope you really enjoy this uh, this uh, big uh, cleaver chopper thing I made for you, man. Take care.